Hi, this is Jo Marie Domino. Do you want to take your decoupaging up a notch? And let's do it with something that costs us $1.25 from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to combine a couple of different techniques, including the crackle technique to transform this pumpkin. I'm removing the twine from this pumpkin I got from the Dollar Tree, and it's made of wood. This is ordinary white school glue, and I'm going to put it all over on top of the pumpkin. And you know what? I'm skipping a step. I'm not painting it. I'm just going to leave it orange. Now I'm going to spread it out. If you noticed, I used a thick amount of glue, and that's okay. If you're doing this for the first time, a thick amount of glue is probably the way to go. Now this is ivory paint. You can use ivory acrylic paint, and look at this. I'm putting the paint right on top of the wet glue. I want you to notice that I'm taking the paint from top to bottom or bottom to top in this case, and I'm doing it in one direction. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going from top to bottom. I'm not going to work that glue too much because I want the paint to stay on. Once you learn how to do the crackle paint technique, you can do it on lots and lots of decoupage projects if you want to give it that vintage flair. All right, here comes the magic. This is my heat gun. It's a craft gun, and I'm starting to dry the paint, and I want to show this to you. Like magic, the paint is cracking, and what am I getting? I'm getting this vintage look, and I didn't paint the pumpkin, and what are the crackles? They're orange. I'm going to use my heat gun just a little bit more, but I'm actually going to put it aside for a little while, a couple hours, because it will continue to crackle. And I did go ahead and paint ivory around the sides. It's a beautiful napkin I got from Vippy's Designs, www.vippies.com. I'm separating it by putting a little bit of Mod Podge between my fingers and pulling those back plies off. Now, because the napkin is so sheer, I'm just placing it on top of the napkin and I'm using my water brush. My water brush has a tube of water and the water feeds through into the brush and I'm able to trace around the area that I want and the water weakens the napkin. So I'm able to give it a nice feathered look around the edges and that's going to blend into the paint. If you don't have a water brush, you could just dip a paintbrush into water and do the same thing. A uh, water brush is just a lot quicker, and they're actually only about 4 or $5. I think the Dollar Tree has them as well. All right, now I am ready to put it onto the pumpkin. So I squirted on there some Mod Podge, and I'm just going to spread it around right on top of those crackles. Now I'm going to put the napkin down, and again, because it's sheer, I can put it exactly where I want. And I'm using my brush and I'm going over the napkin as well as underneath and I'm smoothing it down. Now I am going to use more of the napkin. Look at those beautiful crackles and you see it right through the napkin. Okay, so here's some more pieces from that same napkin. This is really cute. It actually has a little hat on it. Look at that. I love it down there in the corner. And I have a few other little pieces of napkin I'm also going to put right next to the hat. And again, I want you to see all of the crackles. Well, you can tell from up here as well. Those crackles, you can see them right through the napkin. Now, I'm actually going to put some Mod Podge right on top. And I want to tell you this, I'm not worried about wrinkles because of the crackles. And Mod Podge has sealing properties, so I'm not going to have to worry about putting a sealant on top when I'm done. Now, before the glue dries, I'm going to put on a piece of sandwich plastic wrap, and I have a crumpled up piece of napkin, and I'm just going to go over it really well because I want to work the napkin into those cracks so you're really going to see that crackle effect. I'm going to remove it, and I want to hold it up once again. I want you to see, look at that love autumn, all those little crackles in there. All right, one of my favorite tools, it's a finger sander. All you need to do is do a downward stroke and you can remove all that extra napkin and that little piece of sandpaper on top. Well, you can change that once it wears out. Now to clean up that area around the welcome, I'm using a gold metallic Sharpie marker and I'm just going to go around. I'm going to hide some of that paint, but I'm not going to be too fussy because remember, I want this to have a nice vintage rustic look to it. I'm going to let the Sharpie marker dry a little bit. Now I'm going to move on to the next step, which is my Memento stamp pads. I'm going to start with green. And look at that. I'm using a kitchen sponge. You know, I've got some really good hacks using the kitchen sponges. And wait till you see what else I'm going to be doing. 
you can really see the crackles when I put the green stamp pad ink on top. You know, you could do this in more spots if you want to whenever you're doing the crackle effect. Now I have moved on to a brown stamp pad and I'm still using a kitchen sponge. This time I'm going to go all the way around the edge and by doing this, I'm just adding more age to this little sign. I love how it's coming out and I'm going to just go around. I can even put a little bit more up there on the top of the sponge and I decided, you know what, because this has a thick side. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the side as well. So what do you think? This is not so hard to do. This is a perfect beginner's project. And hey, if you're new to my channel and you are a beginner, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome to you as well. Now to finish it off, I do want to add a little bit of embellishing. So that's a piece of twine I glued up there on the top. I also have just a little bit of florals I'm going to put on top of the twine I'm using my hot glue. Not too much. I don't want to make that too, too fancy because of the pumpkin. And that's a vintage little button I'm putting there on top. Now let's take a look. That's what I started with. Just a welcome pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, $1.25. And look how easily I was able to do the crackle method using regular Elmer's glue. Autumn is the perfect time to create something like this. It's so warm and homey. You could put it in your dining room. You could put it in your kitchen. You could even give this as a gift. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino and my beautiful napkins. They come from my friends at Vippies Designs, www.vippies.com. You can follow them on Facebook and Instagram as well. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends, and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.